Hello Trophy Hunters and welcome to Summertime Madness. This game is published by Sometimes You. It comes out tomorrow, 26th January for the price of $15. Also if you first purchase the PS4 version of the game, you get PS5 version 50% off. This game will take you around 1 hour to complete with this guide and we will get all trophies along the way. Some are missable but there is always a chapter select where you can all get that. So what I personally want to set up is uh, I, I want to go to video and set motion blur to yes and after that I am ready to start the game. So just press new game and in this game the cutscenes are unskippable so we are now just going to wait for this cutscene to end and I will join you later. So here we want to choose Explorer difficulty, we have no time limit and press cross button. As you can see we are going to play a very beautiful game. Thanks to sometimes you for providing me the key and I hope you will enjoy this walkthrough. If I'm going to be a lot of speedy in this walkthrough you can always just go to YouTube settings and set me up to 75% speed of the video or 50. So we can walk with our analog stick left but you want to press square button to auto run and we just want to run through our first hand here, this big hand where we will learn a primary basic in the game. So we can interact with cross button with any ob object in the game. So now interact and the shift will arrive. So let me just explain the basic thing why we are going to get all trophies because we won't be using this clock. With triangle button you can use an open and close this clock. With cross button you can use a hint. When you use a hint the time starts to pass on. So we won't be using any clock here. We are going to have it shut down for the whole playthrough. So run towards the ship and we are going to solve our very first puzzle. We want to go up on this pipe here. and interact with the wheel two times, one and two. As you can see now the second door is open here, we want to go down through the door here and interact with this switch. Now go up the pipe again, again click on the wheel to spin it one more time and as you can see the left door has opened go down through the left door now immediately turn left and you can see another wheel that you want to interact with now we close the door but we have this lever we want to go up this lever to the right here and ring the bell this is the first bell out of three now we have this huge platform we want to fall down go up the pipe again and again interact with the wheel. Okay, so now you uh, want to go fall down here, interact with the switch, go up the pipe, go behind this wheel, go up this lever and fall down here and go up to ring the second bell. So now turn around, go back and fall down here, go to the right and ring the bell here. As you can see now we have another platform. Go back up the pipe again.
go behind the wheel and interact with this switch here. Great, now go here and fall down and interact with this wheel here. So now we can open the door as you can see. Now we want to interact with this switch here to get the lever down. And now we can go up. Oh, sorry, don't fall like me. Fall right and we can climb the final pipe up. Now interact with our first out of seven instruments. Great, and now go to this platform and interact with this anchor. We have now unlocked the second puzzle. So now you want to go to this tower, light tower. But first we want to go behind it. And now as you can see we have Emily, one out of five. Read it and go inside the tower. Great. Now interact with your second instrument out of three, out of seven, sorry. And now ring the bell to go up. Turn left, turn left again after the cutscene. This is our final goal, go to that door, but go left here and interact with this switch. So now turn left one time, turn left one more time, turn left one more time until we have, sorry, sorry, then one more time, I thought it will be longer. We need to have this L shaped as you can see. Okay, now exit. And just be careful on these platforms here. Sometimes the wind blows and it can just blow you away, but nothing too important. You can just restart from the beginning. Switches stays on and everything other stays on. So it does the game does not forget. So we want to go all the way to the end of this platform and interact with another switch, which is here. You can hide behind this uh, wood here. So now turn left one more time. Turn left. And now this is okay. We need to have this black flag on the yellow tile. Now you want to go back. As you can see, we have the instrument here. We will go back to that later. Go back all the way. And now at this crossing you want to turn right, right again. That is some huge beast. But as you can see there is our second uh, switch. Interact with it. It can be a bit tricky, but interact. And now for the final one, turn left one time. One more time, one more time, we need to have that black flag on the yellow. And now one more time, as you can see, great. Exit, we now we need to interact with the instrument here, so go right here, uh, left here, sorry. It is hard with the wind, continue going, turn right. Now turn left, left again, and this is going to be our third instrument out of seven. Great job, go back. Okay, sorry, a little bit problems with the wind, left right just continue going until we get to the final door
and now when you near the door interact with them to enter if you can <laughs> due to the wind it can be a bit tricky as you can see so now we finally interacted and there is a giant statue now go towards this statue and we want to go just behind it As you can see, here are some lights. Press cross once at this platform and don't do anything until the cutscene ends. Now you can see and feel vibration on your controller and the statue is going to turn and we are going to reveal our first canvas. Now there is going to be a puzzle solution when we go to this canvas here. We need to interact with the candles in the right order. So press here. Okay, so the answer is first candle, fifth candle, fourth candle, third candle and one again. Great. So now we have revealed our path up. Here is the mo most trickiest collectible of them all in the game so as you can see go to this position when you see this up here in that position you want to walk backwards you want to walk backwards until you don't see the statue anymore Okay, so I don't see the statue anymore, now turn all the way 180 degrees and as you can see we have a canvas behind us. Great job, great job, go up to that canvas and interact with it. This is first out of four. Now go back to that statue which will be just right here. see if you look left you can see it and now we just need to climb up the stairs and we are going to finish with the puzzle Go upstairs.
and interact with the picture here. So now we will have another puzzle, but first go right here and interact with our next instrument, which is going to be instrument number 4 out of 7. And now interact with this puzzle here. So the correct answer is 1, 3, 4, 5. Press it 4 times. 1, 2, 3, 4. Now press 4 once. Press 5 again 2 times. 1, 2. Press 4. Press 5. Press 6. Press 7. And press 6. Now for the next one we need to press 3. We need to press 4, 5, 6, 7. We need to press number 1. We need to press number 5. 3, 4, 5. And lastly, press button number 8. Okay. Now once we are outside the boat we can really very easy skip this chapter. So go along the shore here, press square to run and as you can see we will come across first stones here. Now you can pick up these stones, you will see, and just keep throwing them in the water. It should take around 2 to 3 minutes. But then, then after that we will have a cutscene and you can just move forward on to the next chapter. Of course I will cut it down, the time. And now as you can see the hand reached out and got the stone. And now we should also get trophy slash achievement for that and just go inside the next chapter. the lake and if you look there is something in the water now this just go in this level until the end of the tunnel interact with the door continue going forward As you can see, there is already a statue in front of us. Now we can fill it on controller. There should be a cutscene. Now this is going to be a pretty confusing level where you are going to backtrack a lot of things. So just stay on with me and we are going to solve this together. And you are also going to walk a lot. There is also my, a mechanic that we are going to use. So I can just talk now while we are waiting. We are going to switch between night and day in order to access to some puzzles. But uh, what I can also say, we are going to save two trophies for the end. The trophies for catching 30 butterflies and the trophies for catching three, uh, 30, I don't know, fireflies, sorry, fireflies, I remember the name. And fireflies you can find in this level, butterflies you can find in that uh, tower level, but uh, what the main thing is, there is not enough of them always, or you can just lose a lot of time uh, searching for them, so the easiest thing is at the end of the game you can just try to select, pick up a few butterflies and few fireflies, exit the chapter and then enter it again to just respawn them. You need to collect 30 of all of them to get your end platinum. So now, what you want to do, press square to start running, running and go behind the way we came and there is going to be a switch number one that you can interact with. Press the switch to open another gate.
crate now we need to go back and up the stairs left for another cutscene we need to go right up this tower here go up and interact with the switch here now we have a bridge go down great go right go down here right through the tunnel right and down to the docks and here, here we need to go across the bridge and we need to go there so turn around and push on the switch now go right and interact with this lamp here to change it to day Now turn around and we can now go through this uh, bridge here to another tower. Go up and push the switch. Go back down. Now before I forget, turn back to night just to show you collectible, but because I did interact with it, it won't show you too, uh, uh, properly, I did uh, already collect it, but behind this train there is a saxophone. This is 5th out of 7 collectible. Okay. So now go back and turn back to day. And now we need to proceed with our puzzle. Go through these uh, doors here, all the way to the next area. And there is another collectible here, just behind this train. Another Emilia, Emily, sorry, uh, name, Emilia. Okay, so you can you can interact with this. I already did interact with this. Okay, so now here is a switch. You need to push that switch. And now we need to turn it back to dark, which is with this lamp here. Now go forward through the tunnel. up the stairs and we need to go through this door that were closed in the cutscene now we don't need to go down here but left here and up the stairs there one more stairs and here we are with another switch so now press Press this switch. Okay, now go back down. Now here, turn back to day. Go down and right through the tunnel right again 
and just behind here there is going to be another switch. Okay, great. Now go left here, up, do not turn to the, uh, tonight yet, but go left to the tower and behind the staircase here to the left there is going to be another instrument here. Interact with it, 6 out of 7. Great, now go up, we need to interact with another switch. Interact. And now we have opened the tunnel that we are going to need very soon. Okay, so now we can turn back to night, which is just here. Interact. And we need to go back all the way to the first area where that Emilia name was. Okay, so backtrack. Now we want to turn back to day. So now I'm going to show you one more uh, miscellaneous trophy or missable trophy. Go through this door here. Now the shop door is going to be open and inside we can interact with the TV. Okay. Without kill the radio star. Great. Okay, now go back. This is some kind of a glitch, unfortunately, that it stayed. Interact with the switch. Um, 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 um. How can I just <laughs> remove the glitch? Sorry. Okay, I, I'll just go keep keep going with it. Okay, so now we can go through the tunnel <laughs> with a large eye. Okay, go through the tunnel. Now go left. Go left again. And now, as you can see, we are back in the first area. You want to go up here and change it back to night. I is still here. <laughs> now we want to backtrack uh, all the way to the first area. Again, change it back to day. Let me just check uh, controls, uh, settings, uh, player settings, uh, reticle option, no. Okay, I still here. <laughs> I tried. Okay, so we want to go left and now we can go up to sol solve our final puzzle. So through these stairs here and left. Now the door is open. Now interact with the lamp here to, to get it to be a knight. Okay, so now interact with the switch. And the gate too is open now. We can now go and drive ourselves out of this chapter. But first, interact for it to be day again. Okay. Go right here. Again, it needs to be the uh, night here. Great. 
great and now we can enter that vehicle go up go up the stairs here and another set of stairs now interact with the switch and we are done we are going to start driving at least the eye is gone for now i think exit and enter through the door pain so i have removed the eye and now before we go forward go to options or settings go to audio and turn your volume all the way down okay all the way down this is the only way you can solve this puzzle Now we want to pull the sword from this head. Not exactly. <laughs> I did trick you know. Okay, so uh, the tricky collectible number two. As you can see from this hole, just walk back backwards. Always have the hole in your sight and go backwards until you cannot see the statue anymore. Okay. Okay, I don't see the statue anymore. Now turn 180 degrees and there is a canvas in front of me, okay? Canvas number 2 out of 4. If I am correct. interact with it yeah two out of four now go backwards move away from the canvas until you cannot see the canvas anymore or this is just a mirror in this case and the same thing again once you stop doing the mirror turn around and we can see the statue and same as previous statue we need to go up all the way through the stairs so go behind it Okay, so we can start climbing. And now as you can see in front of us there is another canvas you want to interact with. Okay, so we are almost in the final area of the game. Nothing here that is missable. So you want to go all the way across the river here immediately. And we are going to solve 
a lot of collectibles immediately. So first, there is another Emilia sign here. Okay, three out of five. Now to this door here, go across the bridge. Enter the door. Now just behind the statue, there is going to be our canvas three out of four. Here is the canvas, interact with it, 3 out of 4 as you can see, one is the in the next chapter, so you want to exit through the door, great great job now let's go across first to the tower the lighthouse now you want to ring the bell again to go up Now we are in the same room as before, but when you go out, look right and there is a telescope here. And as you can see, there is a balloon there and try to see that balloon, okay? Okay. So interact with the telescope and try to go for the balloon. And as you can see, Emilia, 4 out of 5. The fifth one is in the last chapter, so not, do not worry about that one. Now go back all the way. And we are now finally going to enter that house for a final uh, guitar instrument and a hidden trophy. Okay, so go left here and on this staircase all the way up. And now this can be confusing, but first go left, go right go left go left again up and here should be our final instrument as you can see a tiny orchestra seven out of seven now you want to go back all the way you came okay to that same room before here now from this you want to go up right now left and all the way down the corridor to that red door and now enter the door for a secret trophy phantom of the opera as you can see a hidden show press circle or just turn around and exit that is it and now we can exit the house now we can exit the house and actually start solving the puzzle we came for so now go downstairs and we are in that room go down and exit the house now you want to go aboard the ship here okay our very well known ship go inside the dock and all the way where the pipe was there is now a door enter the door inside and now there is like a dynamite, dynamite switch here, push it, a fire in the night, as you can see light the sky, beautiful scene, but exit the door, and now this will be a random and tricky, it is not going to be, uh, be maybe the same for everyone, but I will now show you what you need to do, so go all the way to this big hand and to this clock here, okay? And as you can see, this is my time, 6.05. If I press triangle, this is the same time. Okay, so you need to find the door which says this time. Okay, so every door has its time up there. 
so what you want to do is find the door that matches your time if this is the same time as mine you can just follow me if you have different time don't worry just keep looking okay as you can see here are my doors okay you can interact to see just watch but enter the doors and what will happen now you will uh, eliminate other doors but that still leaves the same puzzle so you now again need to find the correct doors that matches your time and here is mine again so enter another door and now we again eliminate a few doors and we need to do this one more time we need to find the right doors As you can see, not too many left. And now again, these are mine doors. Yours may be different. And now just press cross button to enter the door. And after the cutscene, there is a long hallway. And now just walk, 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 walk. And now as you can see, there is number one you can see number one when you see number 13 we are going to enter that door right to that number so number 13 and right door just keep walking 13 enter beyond the curtains okay special place exit the door and you are now again within the statue and this one can be really complicated you can really easily lost yourself but we are going to solve it together there is a lot of platforms as you can see a lot so go right behind the statue as you can see there is going to be first uh, platform that we are going to go up but first that, that we are solving is the last canvas in the game before anything else because it can be missable you want to go towards that statue okay right up left now usually we would go right but the collectible is left okay you can see it here so here go right and down And here is our last canvas in the game. 4 out of 4. Art collector, 62%. Nice, and we need to now go back to that crossing, as I, I, I did say before. Other, other. You see how problems I have with language sometimes? <laughs> and left here. We need to go up there, as you can see the light. I'm just trying to make it easier for you guys so you can really clearly follow me and have anything everything covered now left this is that crossing and now we go right up the stairs now up again left And now we need to interact with that man here. OK, 
Okay. So now we need to go all the way back down to that statue. All the way we came from. Here we are going left and right. And left again, left and right, and right again. Now go behind the statue, and as you can see, already the next platform uh, there is uh, that we can climb on. And the same thing goes on. We need to find that man, interact with him, and go all the way down. right and up the stairs okay so now we want to go to left here and now up again and now up again Here to the right, now left, left, left and uh, left, and all the way up, here is going to be a man, interact. So now for the third and final time we need to go down there a few levels and interact with that character again. So don't go the way you, wake, uh, you came back but uh, go down here, left and right, right left and down right now we are going to fall down and go up here left and up and here we are easy to get lost interact with him okay so he is going to be all the way down to the statue and we need to go down there to interact with him last time. So just go uh, all the way down, you can follow me. We are actually just coming the way we came from because there is no other way. Now up and then uh, left. And as you can see we are now going down. Okay. Now down again here, left, and as you can see here are the lights and we are already down, now go all the way up to that character or figure, interact with him.
And now we are in the final area. But before we finish the game, go all the way across the river here. And here is our final Emilia. Interact. 5 out of 5, 65% of the game. And now go all the way back. And as you can see, there is a man here. And we are now going to finish our game. Okay, so now there, there comes a few unskip unskippable cutscenes. Sorry, I'm already a little bit tired. It is late here. But uh, after that That's scenes, I will just uh, cut it. Uh, you should get your three trophies related four times six uh, three hours i think and one hour and after that we are going to solve two uh, last trophies related to butterflies and a trophy related to fireflies so we get survivor six hours three hours adventure and one hour escapologist and we are at 87 percent now go to uh, select chapter and select uh, memories from the future okay so we did talk about it already but if you have 30 butterflies it is okay if you don't just catch them all over again as you can see i have 37 you need to have 30 of them to be able to access the door. So first go up this tower. And interact with the switch. Okay, go down. go right down and right to the docks again we need to go across and now right here we can now enter go up the tower As, and, and as you can see a new set of stairs are here go all the way up for the trophy and now there is going to be a cutscene huge golem great giant golem 96% and the last trophy press options go back to main menu select chapter and select the lighthouse now all you need to do is collect 30 butterflies here when you collect all the butterflies, you will get the final trophy in the game. Uh, they are really scattered all around the trees. I will just show you quickly locations. But uh, what I did, I just entered the game three or four times uh, just to respawn them. And that is uh, the way I quickly got them. As you can see now, there is some here. Okay, so this is actually my first butterfly. And when you have your 30th butterfly, you will earn your platinum trophy so as you can see here is the second one okay so just look closely now if we go up here for example and okay here is just leaves not no butterflies here maybe uh, up there as you can see it can be a bit tricky just trying to find them and one place I always found them is here as you can see already, already uh, I, uh, white one here and more one more okay so that is actually <laughs> just what you need to do 
I won't really <laughs> let you watch me catch butterflies as you can see here is one more and it is five already if you don't have enough butterflies or you cannot see them just restart the chapter to respawn them again and that is it thank you for watching guys i hope the guide was helpful i hope you could find your way around and if this and if it was helpful please leave a like and of course see you in my next one